Every day there's a different angle to the story involving Michael Orr, former starting tackle, Baltimore Ravens, his attack on his former family, whether he was legally adopted, whether or not uh, they took all the money that he was due. It's, it's kind of a nasty, nasty story. Uh, Michael Orr, a week ago, filed a lawsuit against the family, the Tui family of Memphis. If you ever saw the movie The Blind Side, it's a great football movie. It's, it's quite a story. There's some Hollywood theatrics that are part of the movie that might not be part of the real story about Michael Orr. Um, but the Pro Bowl tackle who played nine years, uh, I think he made $58 million for the Ravens and Carolina. A really nice career out of Ole Miss. And it's it's a heartwarming story if you watch the movie and you believe most of what's in the movie, uh, that this family, the Sean Tui family of Memphis, uh, adopted him or brought him in or saved him. He came from a family of 11 kids and no father, and the mother was a drug addict, et cetera. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a heartwarming story of what he became as a person academically, an honor student, once he got guidance, what he became as a great football player, what he did at Ole Miss and went on to do in the NFL. But out of nowhere, he goes public and says, they never adopted me. They had me sign a conservatorship in which I they could control my marketing money. I didn't know what I was signing. And the lawyer that I gave me the directions to sign was a family friend of the Tui family. So he's really in a rage about the situation. Well, the family responded at midweek on Tuesday and Wednesday and said, this is all a pack of lies. This is him attempting to make a money grab. And by the way, what he didn't tell you was that he told us if we did not give him $15 million, that he was going to smear our family name. And then obviously he went public with the lawsuit. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if they settle out of court. The family has already said, we will revoke the conservatorship. He can have his marketing rights. And Sean Tui's wife said, we gave each of the kids equal shares of money from the TV film, including him, plus the son and the daughter who are part of that family. I don't know what's fact or fiction. It's too bad it's kind of ended up this way. It is a hell of a movie. If you've never seen it, it's just, it's a great story. It's heartwarming. Go ahead. Yeah, it's a, it was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. And it's sad to see this play out. Um, but you know, uh, there's a lot of people that are attacking, um, you know, uh, um, oh, Michael Orr. Or I was going to say Olin, but the, the letters, a lot of people t uh, attacking or saying, oh, he's broke. That's why he wants the money. Uh, you know, and, and I just don't get it. It seems like it's blaming the victim, but if he was trying to blackmail the family, then that's a whole other angle. There's, there's a lot going on here. Yeah. And the family said they use the word extortion. Yeah, uh, it's kind of nasty. We'll we'll see where the story goes, but that's that's the update there. Hey, we get to halftime, and a reminder: right at the end of the show, we'll be dipping back into fans' forum, giving you the opportunity uh, to ask us questions. We'll give you a ton of answers.